Welcome to Heroes and Generals Alpha Video Log 4. The game is currently in alpha stage, and the quality of the graphics and sound shown here is far from final and will improve over time. In this video, we'll show you some of the latest features and assets available in the latest alpha build, which you'll have access to if you've acquired an alpha key. I'll start by presenting one of the new maps. The factory map represents one of the factories on the campaign map. The factories produce tank, airplane or infantry resources to the faction who owns them. The factory map has two access points. One through the heavily guarded main entrance and one at the rear by the railroad tracks. We've also tried to make the inside gameplay more intense compared to some of the larger and more open outdoor maps. All vehicles are currently going through a massive makeover, with new textures and better shaders. We've also added a couple of new vehicles. The US M4A3 EC8 German tank, the German Sonderkraftfahrzeug 250, and the US M3A1 half-track. Both sides can now also use bicycles as a light disposable vehicle. The vehicle physics system has been reworked, so vehicles now have a feeling of more weight. And we've also started working on explosions and impact effects. Web animations and poses have also gone through quite an overhaul, and all weapons now have new poses and reload animations. The campaign is the strategic part of Heroes and Generals, and we are almost ready to let Alpha players test it. So let me briefly show you how the campaign correlates to the action part of the game. In the campaign, you can control a number of assault teams and move them around the campaign map in order to conquer cities, airfields, factories and other important strategic points. When two or more opposing assault teams attack each other, a mission is created in the mission list and players from each side can join and play out that mission in the action part of the game. The assault teams carries an amount of resources, which will be the ones available in the action game. And all kills in the action game will be reflected in the campaign. Finally, you can also add reinforcements to an ongoing battle. So your troops on the battlefield will get more resources. I'll finish off by showing some of the new characters we've put into the latest build. You'll be able to customize and specialize your characters through combat badges and weapon modifications. But more on that in a later video log. That's all for now. Sign up for an alpha key at heroesandgenerals.com and help us make the game you want to play.